Hello everyone, it's Shapi and welcome to a new video. But before we start, I know what you want to say. Shapi, but you said we'll be consistent with your videos and then a break happened? So what? <laughs> the truth is, actually last month was my exams time at my university. So I had no free time to make videos nor any costumes. But right now I'm coming back to YouTube, I'm coming back with new videos. So I hope you'll like it and thank you for your patience. So let's start up, shall we? Last month I was contacted by a shop called Roll Cosplay and they had a very great opportunity for me. Thanks to them I can cosplay one of my favorite characters from video games, Elizabeth from Bioshock. Roll Cosplay has a very vast variety of costumes that you can pick out, for example from anime, games, manga, comic books and everything else. But this costume in particular caught my attention and I really really wanted to try it out. I had a very good contact with a seller and also the costume arrived quite fast because it was only three weeks of wait for my package. But let's see what was inside. So let's start up with the smallest things in the package. At first, we have a pin from Rokos, and it's actually a very sweet gift. I really like those small extra things they give us in the package you didn't expect and you really like, so thanks for that. Next, we have a set of clear bra straps, and those are actually for your corset in this costume. I didn't open those because I frankly forgot about them, but it's okay, I used another pair from my, from my closet, and those will be useful for my maybe next shoot or anything else, so thanks for that. And time for the last, but not least, smallest part of the costume, which is the necklace. And actually, you receive only the ribbon part of this necklace in the package, but I don't really think it's a bad thing about this costume, since in the game Elizabeth has a choice to wear either a cage or a bird. So in this case, you can make the bridge yourself, you, you can make the choice yourself, and make the necklace you want the most. In my case, I picked the bird, and I just used some jewelry, stone from a cheap shop, some jewelry parts, and printed the bird underneath. So it's really nice touch, I really like it, and it goes very very well with the costume. So let's start with the main parts of the costume and I will talk about polar right now. But overall, whole costume is made from the one and the same type of fabric, which is called, I think, costume material or, or stretch in Polish language. And actually this one looks rather well, it's quite stiff and it's also, my polar is also lined with a blind lining. The collar is stiffened inside and we have well-fitting sleeves. So overall, I'm very happy with the bolero. It looks nice on me and it looks nice in the costume overall. All right. And the next part will be corset. This one actually looks more like, uh, like a t-shirt to me, but it still looks well in a full costume, so I don't mind at all. It is opened in the side with a very convenient zipper. It's also trimmed with a fox leather, silver trimming all over the corset, all over it and it also has a rubber in the back, so it's easy to adjust it to your body. Last piece of this costume, and actually my favorite one, will be a skirt. This one is very well made, it has a small zipper in the back, so it's easy to wear it, and it's also made from a full circle, so when you spin in, this, in the skirt, it looks beautifully, it flows so nicely, so it's really, really cool part of this costume. And it also has a small frills in the end of the skirt, so it's neat, it's cute, and I love it so much. And that's it for your package. To make the costume fully wearable, you probably need a wig, a shoes, and optionally a hoop skirt for your skirt, but it's still not that much stuff that you have to get extra. So overall, a very nice package, and I'm really satisfied with it. My only one problem with this costume was actually a size of it. This one arrived a little bit too big for me, so I had to make it smaller on my sewing machine. So my advice for you guys will be to check your measurements twice to make sure that they are correct and you send it to your seller very carefully, so you don't face the same issue that I had with my own. So that's overall my first impression of this costume. I will leave you all the necessary links down below so you can check out the shop and maybe pick your own costume. So now it's time for my full Elizabeth costume video. Let's see how it looks like.
Thank you for watching my video guys, I really hope that you like it. If you are looking for more shops that I can recommend to you, you can always check my other review videos and see what I have there. Thank you so much for today and I hope to see you soon. Bye!